Hello from beautiful British Columbia, Canada, and welcome to part two of this three-part meditation series. If you missed part one, I will link it for you in the description box just down below. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you watch that before you dive into this one. All right, let's continue where we left off, shall we? So let's briefly summarize the first video. You find a comfortable seat, focus on the breath as the abdomen rises and falls, labeling it as you inhale and exhale. Now, a lot of people feel, and my previous self included, that meditation means emptying your mind completely, not having any thoughts at all. What I was enlightened to learn is that in this form of meditation, you aren't trying to stop the thoughts from coming in, but rather you're just observing them. So let's say you're mindful of your breathing, labeling it as we did before. Rising, 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 falling, 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 but suddenly a sensation snaps you out of the mindfulness of breathing. This sensation might be hearing a car driving by, smelling food being cooked in the kitchen, feeling your leg go numb, or maybe you can see in your mind an image of a tropical beach. Whichever of your senses is being called on, simply label it. So you might label it listening, smelling, feeling, or seeing. By labeling it, you become aware of it. You acknowledge it, you observe it for what it is without allowing yourself to go into deeper thought. So we aren't thinking, oh, I smell something. I wonder what he's making for dinner. Did he remember to use all the carrots? Maybe I should go check. No, this is not observing. This is actively thinking. So instead, we just label it for what it is and continue to label it without letting your thoughts wander mindlessly. When you do this, you'll see that the sensation will pass. And when it does, we bring the focus back to the breath, rising and falling. Oh, and now you suddenly hear something, but don't explore it, just observe it and label it. Listening, 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 or you might even call it hearing, hearing, hearing. It doesn't matter what you call it, so long as it makes sense to you. Observe it, then let it go, and return to the breath. Now what happens when a thought enters into the mind? Not just a sensation, but a thought. Maybe you're thinking about something that happened in the past, like a mistake you made earlier in the day. Or maybe your mind is wandering to the future, thinking about what you're going to be making for dinner later. Or maybe your mind is wandering to an imaginary world where you've just won the lottery. Whatever it is, just as we did before, we're gonna become aware of it and label it. So let's say we're focused on the breath, rising and falling, and suddenly we remember a silly thing that we did earlier in the day that really embarrassed us. Instead of delving deeper into this feeling and feeling even more foolish for what we did, we just label the experience instead. Remembering, remembering, remembering. Continuing to repeat this until we become mindful of the fact that it's just a thought. We don't judge the thought, we don't label the thought as good or bad or try to make sense of the thought. We just observe it in a detached manner. After a few seconds or moments of labeling, the thought will pass, which again allows us to bring the attention back to the rising and falling of the abdomen. If the thought is of something that might happen in the future, you can simply label it planning, or if it's something you're daydreaming about, perhaps you can label it imagining. Now this meditation allows us to empty the mind of plans and memories. It allows the thoughts to flow away as they do, so we can focus on the rising and falling movement happening right now, because all we've really got is the now. In the moments where you're aware of only the breath, you allow the mind to be still, allowing it to rest in those spaces. In a way, this is how we empty the mind, not by actively willing it to be empty, but rather by becoming aware of the breath, honoring the passing sensations and thoughts, letting them go, and then returning to the breath. All right, so in this video, we've built on the basics of the seated position and always returning to the breath by also learning what to do when certain sensations arise or when certain thoughts enter into our minds while we're meditating. We've learned to separate ourselves from those sensations, thoughts, or emotions, simply observing them without any judgment. Then now the question becomes, what do you do if your leg starts to fall asleep while you're meditating or if a stray piece of hair starts to tickle your nose? Do you simply get up and readjust or move the piece of hair out of your face? 
This is something we're going to discuss in the next video. And something else that we're gonna discuss in the next video is something I think is the most impactful and important thing to discuss, which is how we can apply the mindfulness techniques that we've learned in meditation in our day-to-day -day activities and in our day-to-day -day lives. So stay tuned for the next video on that one. All right, I'm gonna sign off now, as my teacher always did, by saying meta, always. Meta just means in loving kindness and directing well wishes to other people. So we're gonna say it together now. Are you ready? Meta, always.